Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Drew Meyer with Meyer Construction. Uh, I'm sanding a cedar deck today. The uh, stain that was applied got applied very thick and it puddled. In a previous video dealing with a uh, bare deck over, uh, uh, Mark commented and said, hey, try out a floor sander. So I ran down to Home Depot and rented one. So basically what I'm gonna do is start off with uh, 60 grit, see how that does, and then move up to 80 grit. Other thought was maybe I could try to power wash it, but as uh, soft as cedar is, I'm worried about that really tearing up the grain. But you can see where I sanded. Some of it came off real nice. I guess I could also use a stripper. But essentially that's what I picked up from Home Depot. Um, we'll see how good it works. This is the, uh, you put this foam on the bottom first. That sticks on and then I got uh, 60 grit and 120. So, and I know that's really not stepping up properly in grits, but we'll see how it works. I will say on this deck, I think it's three or four years old. And on all my picture frame miters, I uh, uh, use biscuits and just tight bond and they held together very tight. You can see all you do is stick on the foam pad on the bottom and then your sandpaper sticks to that. So you can see with one little quick pass, it really knocks it down pretty good. Looks like that's gonna be a good, good option. Again, that's 60 grit. Looks like the pad kinda already came off a little bit. But apparently you pull one of these and then hit this side button. So by pulling that and then hitting that little button there, that's how you get it to go. So what I was kind of worried about is when you turn it like I just did, if that's gonna burn in, and you can kind of see my sand marks. So I think the best way will be to make a pass, back it all the way up, scoot it over, and make another pass. But this is gonna work very well. So if you're having an issue with your deck and need it sanded, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. Thanks a lot, Mark. Um, I would never have thought of that unless you mentioned on that one video, so I really appreciate it. Um, looks like this is going to work great. I'm going to hit it with 60 grit quick, and I got to dry a few spots where the leaves were sitting. Just hit it with a towel quick. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to work my way down, wheel it back, move over three deck boards, and go down. That way I don't have to worry about turning it around and really digging in. Um, but yeah, so I hope this helps somebody. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit like, hit subscribe, and keep hammering. So I just hit it with uh, 60 grit, went pretty fast. You know, it does a good job of leveling out your deck boards too. Like I said, this is kind of a problem situation where this got stained super heavy where there's like puddles of stain that never cured. Um, so really I'm just trying to knock down the stuff that won't, you know, that's that's flaking up we just did a pretty good job 
Um, I might just have to get some darker stain and hope that it kind of blends all this together. Now I'm gonna hit it with 120. Um, that pad towards the end started to gum up, so it didn't do as good of a job here, but it's because those leaves were sitting here and there's still a little moisture. So I'm impressed, uh, that worked really well actually. Um, so thanks again, Mark, for recommending that. So you can see that's the shape of the pad. They do actually carry at Home Depot Diablo um, sheets. So to change it out, take that one off, which was 60 grit. And you do kind of have to, the weight of the sander basically holds this on. There are like little um, points on the bottom pad, but you kind of got to line this up once in a while, it kind of comes off. So thanks for watching. Uh, once again, this is Meyer Construction. Uh, please hit like, hit subscribe, comment down below. Um, that'll wrap up this video. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, this is kind of one of those deals um, where I was thinking about trying this and I figured I should just film it. That way anybody else uh, down the road can get some value, see what kind of results are attainable with the floor sander. And I really appreciate uh, Mark uh, reaching out in a previous video and recommending this. Um, it worked great. It was quick. Uh, cost 150 bucks. The only thing I would recommend is maybe um, at the store buying a couple extra sheets of your different sandpapers, depending on what results you want. Because, you know, 150 bucks, if you burn out the one sheet they give you, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, they only cost like seven bucks for a sheet. And then you could also cut it up if you don't use it afterwards and just have some sheets of sandpaper. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of show you the results. Like I said, this is kind of a disaster to begin with. Um, as just how heavy that uh, stain was put on. It like never really cured. Um, I guess we'll kind of experiment and see what kind of results I can get. Um, which is kind of a shame. Because this is a nice cedar deck. But that's kind of how things go. It's always about problem solving. Um, I might try to get some of these areas with my orbital sander. It's really smooth though. I mean, that it did a good job at smoothing it up. Um, maybe if I do put on a darker, heavier stain, it'll kind of hide some of this. I don't know. If you guys got any recommendations, uh, please comment down below and thanks for watching.